everyone. Today I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about the water filtration system that I will be taking on the AT. Um, for both my PCT and CT hikes, I took the Sawyer Squeeze filter, but I'm not going to take that on the AT. Instead, I'm going to take the Sawyer Micro Squeeze filter. Uh, it just came out this year and it is very similar to the regular squeeze filter. And the first thing I'm going to do when I take out my micro squeeze filter, which is kind of just a personal preference, is that I'm going to take off the cap that comes with the filter. Uh, I don't really like these ones as much. They, they're just the clicky tops, I don't know. But I like the ones that you get on your smart water bottles or on your life water bottles that just open up like that. Um, I think the water flows out faster from these types. So the main difference between the Sawyer Squeeze and the Sawyer Micro Squeeze is the difference in size. So if you hold them up next to each other, you can see that the Sawyer Micro Squeeze is a fair bit smaller than the regular squeeze. Um, that equates to the weight as well. The regular squeeze is 3 ounces, the Micro Squeeze is 2 ounces. And I think the price is also in the favor of the Micro Squeeze because the regular squeeze is $39.95 and the Micro Squeeze on REI is $27.95. Uh, so you save 10 bucks, you save one ounce, and you get nearly the same exact flow rate. And I'll compare those in a second. Um, I'm going to take my Micro Squeeze and screw it onto this Life Water bottle. Um, and then we'll just compare how the Micro Squeeze does to the regular squeeze in terms of putting out water. So as you can see, the flow rate out of both the micro and the regular squeeze is pretty similar. Um, I tried to obviously squeeze the water bottle with the same amount of pressure both times, but each time you can see that the mason jar is filling up at kind of the same rate. One more thing I will say is that when I had first gotten my Sawyer Squeeze, I don't want to admit it, but I did YouTube how to use the Sawyer Squeeze because it just seemed complicated coming in a box with all this stuff. Um, so I ended up looking up how to use it, but the best piece of advice I can give if you've never used one of these before is take this and put it on a shelf. Um, if you want to use the pouch, use the pouch. If you want to use the back flusher, use the back flusher, but I wouldn't pack that out with me on a long trail um, just because if you blow water through the other way and bang it against the tree, it kind of does the same exact thing. Um, but yeah, so just take this, put it on your water bottle, turn your water bottle upside down, and squeeze. And that is literally all there is to it. It's so simple to use. Um, just don't let it freeze. So if you're going below freezing temperatures, put it in your sleeping bag when you sleep at night. That way it doesn't freeze because when the water gets stuck in it and freezes, it can break the filter. Um, so that is one important thing to know. So hopefully this video was informative if you're trying to pick between a filter and you have not considered the Sawyer Micro filter. It will be going in my pack and something that I take on the AT with me. Thanks for watching.